Dugtrio is a Pokémon with a long and successful history in competitive single Smogon battles thanks to its amazing ability, Arena Trap. I'm sure you're already familiar with it if you're watching this kind of content, so I won't bore you with the details. However, there's another side to Dugtrio's story. Alolan Dugtrio sure is fabulous, but to say it was disappointing would be an understatement. Sure, it gained the steel typing of its new form, but that doesn't really make up for losing the ability that makes Dugtrio worth using at all in the first place, especially when it also loses 10 speed. Alolan Dugtrio was just a mediocre PU Pokémon in Gen 7, which is a far cry from its Cantonian relative, who was so broken it got an entire ability ban from OU for 5 generations. So what if I told you that in Pokémon Let's Go's OU tier, Alolan Dugtrio is not only more used than regular Dugtrio, but is also the best ground type in the entire game, and the 4th most used Pokémon overall? Your first thought might be, what the hell? And yeah, that's pretty reasonable. Alolan Dugtrio is frail, not especially strong, and it has one of the smallest move pools in the entire game. Heck, it doesn't even have Iron Head in Let's Go, it's only Steel Step is Flash Cannon, and well, that doesn't really cut it. So why do so many people use this thing? What's so amazing about it? Well, to answer that, we'll need to look at the third most used Pokémon. Zapdos is an absolute menace. It's got a great defensive typing that lets it handle stuff like Melmetal and Mega Gyarados pretty well. It's got U-Turn and Roost, two of the best moves in the entire game. It's got Stab Thunderbolt, which threatens the vast majority of Pokémon in the tier because of Zapdos' amazing special attack stat. And it's got pretty great speed as well. Zapdos is really just the full package. It regularly gets upwards of 60% usage in tournaments, which is pretty small compared to Melmetal's usual, like, 95%, but it's still really impressive. Being on about two-thirds of all teams, not bad. Of course, Zapdos in Let's Go has a flaw. It doesn't get any viable offensive moves beyond Thunderbolt and U-Turn, except for Drill Pack, which is more of a niche option. This means that ground types are staples on most teams in order to absorb Zapdos' bolts of death. And this is where Alolan Dugtrio comes in. Let's look at all the decent ground types and think about how well they can handle Zapdos. Zapdos usually supplements its free move combo of Thunderbolt, Roost, and U-Turn with either Reflect to help all physical attackers, or Toxic to wear stuff down. Rhydon and Golem become pretty useless as long-term Zapdos checks if they get hit with a Toxic on switching, so they aren't really ideal. Sandslash suffers a similar fate, and can't break through Reflect Zapdos either, so it's off the table too. That leaves the Nidos and the Lolan Dug Trio. The Nidos, Nidoking and Nidoqueen, are good against Zapdos, sure, but there's one key issue, they're slower than it. That means Zapdos can U-turn away from the matchup before the grounds can do a single thing to it. Nidoqueen isn't usually too hard to pivot in against, because it's not hugely strong. And Nidoking becomes pretty easy to pivot around with Reflect Up as well, because in Let's Go Without Abilities, Nidoking is a physical attacker. Sure, they can make things awkward with Dragon Tail to phase the switch in the round and possibly bring Zapdos right back in, but how well that pays off is pretty luck reliant, and Dragon Tail has a tendency to just miss and do nothing. That leaves the on Dugtrio as the most consistent ground type against Zapdos, because it's faster. It can reliably hit Zapdos with Rock Slide if it tries to stay in a new turn, which becomes really devastating if it flinches. It can also go for what's become a staple of modern Alolan Dugtrio movesets, which is Substitute. This allows Alolan Dugtrio to hit whatever switches in after Zapdos' U-turn, without having to risk being knocked out by it due to its poor bulk. Beating Zapdos isn't all that Alolan Dugtrio brings to the team, of course. Let's Go OU is a very fast-paced metagame, and Alolan Dugtrio suits that really well. It's great speed stat paired with Stab Earthquake in the metagame where almost all ground answers are weak to Rock Slide makes it a pretty scary late-game cleaner and revenge killer. Alolan Dugtrio also helps a lot against Mega Alakazam, which is the best Mega in the tier and arguably the single most broken Pokémon. It has a 50% chance to survive a hit from even Calm Mind Alakazam after Stealth Rock and retaliate with its big Earthquake, and it makes things even scarier for Weaken Zam with another staple move, Sucker Punch. It's pretty rare for Alakazam to make it to the end of a battle undamaged, so Earthquake and Sucker Punch are both usually able to pick up the KO, which puts Zam into a really difficult guessing game. Fitting a late game cleaner, a Zapdos answer, and a Mega Alakazam answer into a single slot is just fantastic value, especially when basically every other ground type gets absolutely destroyed by Zam. So it's no surprise that Alolan Dugtrio sees such high usage these days. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. If you've got any feedback, or if there's anything you want me to make a video about, let me know with a comment. I'm thinking about doing replay reviews for interesting tournament sets, and maybe other longer, less edited content alongside this stuff, so I'd love to hear whether people would be interested in that. I'll have another video out next week regardless, so stay tuned. See ya!